What's going on there, everybody, and welcome back to some more trucking with Eye of Vision. We are here in Montrose, Colorado. We are heading over here to Renton, New Mexico. This will be the last part of our little mini series as we head from. Um, we are all the way up here in Thompson Falls, Montana, and as we go into Texas, so we can start checking out the wonderful state of Texas, which there is a ton to see there. So we're going to be heading down here on 50, all the way over to Pueblo, and then down from Pueblo, um, straight into Ratton there. Mm, not seeing anything of interest along the way that we could stop and see. There is a photo opportunity um, along this route here on 550, um, but I don't really want to go down to Durango and over to um, Alamosa. Been that way multiple times. I don't really want to do it again. Um, so I'll head to Montrose over to Pueblo and then down on 25 here. So nothing new really to see. It's all been checked out before. Um, even in here in Duratton, there's not much because it looks like we've came this way as well. So it is what it is. Uh, but afterwards, we're going to get into Texas. So that'll be fun. So well, let's go. I got our load already. Last time we took some Christmas gifts. This time we're taking the load of cars. Um, yeah, some trucks actually. Some pickup trucks from the Ford dealership. I don't even know if these are Fords. Can't really tell. They kind of look like it, but not. So who knows? But anyhow, we're just going to take the load, right? That's what we get paid to do. We get paid to drive it. That's all I know. So that's what we're going to do. Last time we got, we got into a little bit of an accident there, a little fender bender. Um, person did not want to go on a green light, so that was frustrating. Um, what are you doing, man? I don't understand. Like, I like that SES has traffic coming through parking lots now. But, uh, man, come on. Seriously. Um, let's see. So we're going to head on out of here. It's just, I think it's, how many miles? Like 300 and something? 323 miles. So not, uh, not a crazy long journey, but long enough. That's for sure. Uh, so we're kind of creeping out here. This car's probably going to stop, I would assume. Nope. Oh, wow. Impressive. I'm impressed. Look at that. We finally got, uh, finally got our chance to go. So off we go. We get our chance and we take it. There she is. There's our load again. Very nice. You know, very, very nice. Um... But I don't think there's room for us uh, on the other side there. It would be, eh, it'd be really close. So we're just not gonna risk it there. We'll just, we'll just kind of hang back here, and uh, that'll be all right. But yeah, very nice. Look at that wide turn he took. Wide turn and then stayed in the left lane. Very well, sir. Very well. This guy, another wide turn for him as well over those bumpy tracks and on our way we go early morning it's uh was it 7 30 7 30 in the morning so very nice there a little sunny i wish we could uh put down the visor but hey whatever it's fine that's fine we're trucking that's all that matters we got a left turn coming up so we're gonna stay in the, the left lane here and uh yeah Got it. Need to stay in the lane, though. Need to stay in the lane. All right, here we go. Left turn. So yeah, last time, yeah, really long. We got that little fender bender there, like I was talking about. And uh, otherwise, this trip has been super smooth. It's been it's been great. We've trucked a lot of miles, over a thousand miles. Uh, have been on this journey. Um, so that is super exciting. We've seen a lot of different things. We've seen Montana, Idaho. Colorado, Utah, and uh, and then now New Mexico as we head into there today. So five different states, um, which is really what I wanted. You know, there's a couple of spots that I wish we could have gotten to see yet um, that we didn't get to do just due to where we could get loads to, um, which is always, you know, the next frustrating part. But for what we had we got to do and got to see like I'm, I'm really pleased so 
Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed this as well, because um, it, it helps come back to states that we haven't seen in a while, which I think was the fun part about it. You know, eventually, like I said, I've talked about this many times, I'm going to do a coast to coast at some point once we kind of get there. Um, might even do like, because we're starting to get more into the Midwest, I might even do like a Chicago to LA or something like that, like once we get like Illinois. Um, so there's going to be some options as we come, you know, as we continue to go east, um, which is going to be super exciting. Um, but we just, we, we just got to get there, obviously. We just got to get there. Um, but we also got to not flip our truck here as well through these wonderful curvy bends. So uh, if you're wondering why we kind of look like a Christmas tree, um, because I, I feel like we're going to go into Texas and uh, we're still going to have the Christmas event. So I didn't want to get rid of the... Uh, um, paint job on the truck I know we're gonna be switching to the W900 um, so with that I don't I don't know if we're gonna put Christmas on that truck um, whoops oh boy oh boy and these this truck makes me feel like we're we're bouncing there holy cow I wonder if we did any damage to the trailer nope just to the truck there little fender little fender bender on the truck that's fine um, plus, it works out because this truck's going to have to go into the shop. <laughs> Let's be honest. This truck is going to have to go into the shop after everything that she's endured. We're probably going to get fined now uh, when we stop at a waste station just due to that uh, that 10%. But whatever. We got plenty of money. This, this company is not shy on the on the money. So we're just going to keep on doing our, this guy with his wide wide turn there. In Darlene, what, what, what was that all about, sir? Um, but yeah, we really just got to be mindful of these speeds. To be honest, we're really, really hitting that brake hard. But this truck is feels like I don't know. It just feels like we're tipping it. We're getting a little, a little tipsy with this truck. So I know the stability has been kind of tweaked. I feel like I don't know. I feel like SES has tweaked the stability. Uh, this was like a few updates ago. Probably about the time Texas came out. I feel like the uh, stability got got tweaked and whatnot. Which is just fine. It's a little frustrating though, but I mean it's almost to the point where I just I don't feel as comfortable with the truck. Um like I used to. And I know I can change that myself to kind of manipulate it even more, but I mean, obviously there is some instability when, when taking curves a little too fast. So at the same time, I don't want to change, change it too much because I want to make it as realistic as possible. Um, but it's a little frustrating. You know, you get over halfway through a recording and then all of a sudden you tip the, tip the truck and it's like, man, now we got to redo this all over again. All over again. So that's kind of that's kind of frustrating. You know, uh, it's it's really funky to sit there and put the put the cuts in too, because you can never line the uh, what your words are and what what you're talking about to your location all the time perfectly. So it takes a lot of a lot of effort when that happens. But yeah, 300 miles. I know it's a little curvy and whatnot coming through here, so we're going a little bit slower um, than we would on a, on a highway, on a major highway. Uh, but that's fine, right? 300 miles, we still should get there in under 30 minutes. Our last episode was uh, was the longest, and it'll be the longest in the series, obviously, in the little mini-series. Um, we did, I want to say we covered over 500 miles, or pretty close to it. So it was a really, it was good in that sense. Um, because like I said, we got to cover so many states, right? Four different states we hit, or three different ones. Utah, um, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, right? I think those are the three. I'm starting to get them all confused now. I think I was even confused because I thought at one point we hit Idaho, too, which was not, not the case there. So, 
You just, you kind of just deal with it. What's, uh, what's going on here? This guy's towing a boat. This little Jeep here's towing a boat. So, yeah, so there's no, uh, no episode on Christmas. Um, so hopefully you all had, uh, had a good Christmas there. Yeah, the content was kind of, kind of waxing last time. Um, just due to, due to holidays. So, hopefully everything is good here for everybody. Lots, obviously, lots going on. And, uh, whatnot, but... Hopefully everything is good now. All right, we have we had some two point campus stuff. Got to see the holiday holiday stuff that they brought, which is super cool. Um left lane is ending. Let's see if uh we can sneak in here. Or like oh left lane ends, never mind. Never mind, so we can stay in our lane the left lane that ends whoops uh, for some reason I was thinking it was the right lane and we had a merge left that was not the case please stay yeah that guy started inching out there I was really whew, that definitely concerned me 6% grade holy cow 6% grade going down this is going to be interesting we're in a convoy behind these trucks so that'll kind of keep us a little uh a little uh, controlled here, you know, not too, too crazy. Not too, too crazy, but we're definitely going to pick up some speed going down a 6% uh, six grade. I'd be surprised if we don't. If we don't pick up speed. Yeah, see, we're already, you know, I kind of gave her a little, little gas there, but... I don't want to don't want to go too fast around some of these curves because if we uh, start to become a runaway, that's not good. So I'm pretty sure a runaway ramp will be coming up. Might even have one right here. What we got here, yeah, runaway ramp, half mile. So I know it's uh, it's a little slower going down, but it's not too bad though. It still says 55, and we're we're well under it. It's just these turns here. So there's the runaway ramp. Which. Don't need that. We're not a runaway. Not yet at least. Haha. <laughs> not yet. I know we've gone this way multiple times as well. Um, I mean this is not a bad at all. It's very scenic. I mean it's the one nice thing about the, the US routes here. Um, that aren't the main interstate is that you can get some really nice scenic areas um, Which is super cool, so I do like that. Whoa, what's going on here? What is going on over here? Did a fire hydrant what is this? No idea what this is I think the car's, uh, there's a problem with this car here. No. Oh, the water main break. That's different. I haven't seen that before. Holy cow. That's cool. That's definitely a new one. have not seen that. That is neat. See, so something new that we've, uh, that we haven't seen before. So, exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Um, as far as I uh, mm -hmm. trying to think here uh, let's see we're just kind of waiting to oh campers campers we're just kind of hanging out that's all we're doing we'll take a look around see what they got kind of models they got Look at that, Winnebago's. Let's see, Winnebago's, I like that. Um, that is she, oh, we got a green, we gotta go. We gotta go, oh, just in time. We were so, we were caught up looking at the Winnebago's there. 
the Winnebago's and the uh, water main brake. So that is something. Uh, let's see what else. Doo -doo. Look at that scenic. We haven't reached Pub Pueblo yet, so that's uh, that's something. We still have 192 miles to go. Um, so that's something. Something there. Beautiful. Let's see, going through all of this. There we go, rest area, rest area. There's a lot of rest areas, super nice. I, for you that don't know, I kind of talked about it last time. I have disabled the, uh, this, the fatigue function. It just wasn't, wasn't necessary. Wasn't necessary. I, I, it, it ruined the immersion for me. Like, I just want to get in and truck. I get, like, in real life, you know, you got to get the rest hours and all that stuff. But, um, outside of that, I just, I don't know what else I could... You know, like, oh, it's just like, why, why have it? Why, why have it? And we do do, like, an on-off, you know, for the most part, we don't drive at night. Um, there are some times that we do. Like, that last trip, that was 500 miles. Like, there probably would have been a rest in there, um, for sure, right? Like, that was a super long journey. Um, so, trying to think of... of what else we could could do to kind of increase that immersion um i fueled up before this episode a little bit and put a ton in here just because uh we're gonna be like i said storing this truck before we head to head into uh texas there because where i'm going with that kenworth w900 definitely one of my more favorite trucks uh, i got quite a few miles on it i would say that's almost i'd say that's the truck with almost the most miles that i have I don't know. I've driven that truck a lot, so that's always it's always it's a nice one, right? It's kind of you know retro, but like very big and bad. I feel like you know these new trucks are all pretty and fancy, pretty and fancy trucks here. But yeah, such beautiful area around here. I love it. Love it. I actually um I have been to Pueblo, so that was um. Because I went to Colorado uh, this last year during June. June, so yeah. So I went to, to Denver, Colorado Springs, Pueblo. So I like the Colorado area is, is very kind of familiar to me in ways um, because I've been there now. So now it's kind of nice that I can be like, oh, I've, yeah, that that's right. Um, Pueblo, I was just kind of like in and out, nothing really fancy there, so. Can't really say much for for anything there, but yeah, like I was only literally in Pueblo for maybe a few hours, so nothing nothing crazy was. It's like a abandoned trailer on the side here. What is this? Okay, somebody just uh, somebody just left their trailer there. Um, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Well, that's something. That's new. I haven't seen that before. Hmm. I mean, you do see, like, the, the trailers that are on the side, though, with, like, advertisements, like, now hiring or stuff like that. And here we are rolling into Pueblo. So very nice. What we got? 120 miles. So not much left on our journey. Um, long enough, though. I thought we'd be under a half an hour, but I don't think we're going to be. 
I think we're going to be uh, probably about 35-40. So, we'll miss a judgment there on my part. And plus, now we got to stop. We just start catching a break here. Start catching a break. There's a McDonald's. Dunkin' Donuts. Exxon Fuel. Very nice. We'll just kind of creep along here. Watch all the traffic behind us creep. Well, 7-Eleven. Look at that. 7-Eleven. We got O&R. The home of everything's included. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Let's go. You guys want to see the, the trailer again if you haven't seen it? For whatever crazy reason. There she is. So beautiful. Um, I've talked about this too. Like this truck is so quiet on the outside. I feel like. And then you get in the cab. And it is. It's on a different level. It's on a much different level inside the cab. Oh where are we going right? Yep. That would make sense to me to go right here. Because we got to go south. Pueblo city limit. Here we are. Yeah, we were on a main road in Pueblo. I don't know where, though. Yeah, like I said, kind of in and out. Because um, I went to the zoo there. They have, like, a little city zoo. Um, honestly, if you're, if you're a zoo person, uh, that zoo had the most red pandas that I've seen. And uh, they were also the most active. So... If you, uh, if you like red pandas, um, I definitely suggest that zoo. And it's a city zoo, so it's not it's not even that expensive. Um, might, have even, might have even been free. No, I don't think so. I think we paid for it. Um, at any rate, it wasn't, wasn't that expensive. So, it was, uh, it was good. It was good, though. Um, it's just so interesting, zoos. They really are. Look at this bridge. How fancy the I-25. Look at that. That is super, super cool. Boom. Alright. Beautiful bridge photo taken and we can finish out our journey here. Let's be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. And away we go. There we are. Back on the Interstate 25. So now from here we should be pretty quick. Um, just due to... Uh, we're on the Interstate now. Of course we're still speed governed because we're taking uh, a World of the Trucks contract. Um, it's just... it's still. I talk about this every now and then. And we got, we got a speeding fine. It's... Yeah, I heard you back there. Um, I, I get. I don't know if it's just there's that many new players every so often that uh, we don't realize that when you take the external contracts that your truck is speed governed to 65. So even though you know you can probably do 90 with the thing. At some point of your other contracts, you can't um, do that with an external contract. From what I've heard, is that was due to so people can't sit there and knock out the event contracts um, super super quickly, right? And then it's like, oh man, like this person did it because they're they're doing 20 loads in an hour. And everybody else is doing, you know, 15 loads or whatever, just because they're driving at, you know, faster speeds and they don't care about getting fined and whatnot because they got, you know, and all that malarkey. So I get why they did it. I mean, I don't know if you could take and, I mean, I would like to see the speed speed governor be a little bit higher like our max speed is 75 like let us do the 75 so I don't know if they could speed govern base like I feel like you could speed govern based on 
what the speed limit of the road is. In a way. I don't know. If the road is... Like, you could allow for like 5 to 10 over maybe. I, I don't know. You know, I'd like, I, I would like to see a little bit better of a system. But I also know why they have it in place. So... At the same time, it doesn't really matter um, how long it takes to get a load there in an external contract. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Um, just because it's real-time based. So, it's not game-time based. So, if you know you can truck for an hour today, but then maybe another hour tomorrow, as long as you grab that contract that lasts 24 hours, 26 hours, um, then it's not... It's not a big deal. So. Other than that. Yeah. Some people are talking about the game breaking to or crashing. I, I haven't seen any crashes. Or the game not being playable. Since the last update. I haven't seen anything like that. Um, I think a lot of that stuff too. Just comes down to mods. You know like. We all have mods in our game. Um different mods do different things um, they get broken um, I've definitely as time has gone on and this game has gotten more and more updates um, I do use less and less mods I also clear out my mods a little bit more frequently um, just due to there are mods that don't get updated or they get updated later um, I definitely have started to shy away from mods on external sites uh, just due to it's a pain I gotta go check check that site see if it's gotten updated or not like it's really annoying the Steam Workshop's really great because the game just takes care of it for me I load in and I know that that mod's gonna have the most up-to-date you know I'm gonna have that most up-to-date version of that mod um, doesn't mean that the mods gonna work for the up version of you know ATS that I have, but I do know that the game's going to have the most up-to-date version that it can grab from the from the Steam Workshop. So, thank God that we can bypass this way station because we've got that 10% damage, so uh, that would be that would be bad if we would have had to pull in there because we would have been fined for having a truck that was in disrepair. So, we're coming up to Retton here. Uh, so, we still got content coming, so make sure you're checking that all out. Obviously, we got um, Two Point Campus, American Truck Simulator, and Bus Simulator 21. Um, potential for new content is coming. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Because, like I said, I do want to do more stuff. I got some stuff in the backlog. Um, it's just a matter of when is it going to come. And uh, kind of changing things up at work for us. So, the time that I thought I was going to have is no longer a thing. Which creates some some issues because then what ends up happening if I have too many series going on means I'm spending too much time on the weekends doing recordings, which does not make people happy. So, uh, yeah, figure some stuff out there. Obviously, it's it's not a super big deal, but it is a little bit of a big deal um, just because of how long it takes to do some of these recordings, and then you factor in editing time and uploads and all that. And uh, it, it adds up after a while. Definitely adds up after a while. Uh, but here we are in Retin. Retin, New Mexico. So not deep into New Mexico by any means. Um, but still good enough for... Um, for everything else that we got going on here. Everything else. Oh, that's good stuff. Good stuff here otherwise. Hmm. How's this look? How's this view look? What are they? Uh, what are they doing over here? A little, a little road construction. That's nice. That's nice. Man, a lot of these buildings look like they're like um, toy kits that you would like model kits that you would build and put together yourself. It makes me kind of want to get one, to be honest, and try. I've never done one, so there'd be a little, uh, little learning there. Ooh, train. Oh, that's what I, I gotta look and I've talked about this too. I need to look and see about um, 
trying to get that that view. Ooh, that train stopped. Interesting. That's cool. They got the uh, the road closed off over here too. No particular reason. Just it's closed. It's just closed. No reason why. But it's just closed. All right. Are we pulling in here? I think so. Yep. Right there. Right there. I think they want it backed in. I think they do. Or nope, they want it pulled in. Okay. They want it pulled in. All right, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. We're gonna have to. Uh, gonna have to back this up to kind of straighten it out, but that's fine. We can do that. We can definitely straighten it out here. All right, let's just kind of see. Everything looks good. So this is I'm kind of like the truck's a little bit of an angle, but I just in my mirror, I just I don't know. I get thrown off. I get thrown off in my mirrors by it. I don't know why, but it definitely it just throws me off. But this should be good, right? Once we get in here. There it is. There it is. Let's see how we how we look. Ah, it's still on a little bit of an angle there. Like I don't like it. I don't like that. But it looks straight here. Like that's what I don't understand. To me, that looks straight. I mean, maybe not in that mirror, but on this mirror, it does. I don't know. It's the truck that looks off. I don't know. Any suggestions you guys have on that stuff would be great. Um, but yeah, otherwise we're going to continue to do things like this and kind of give us a little bit of a an angle, which I don't like, but it happens. Well, that's going to do it for us this time. Like I said, when we come back next time, we're going to be hopefully getting a load out of here from Ranton into Dalhart, um, which would be awesome. Not a very long journey. I mean, I guess it is. 278 miles. Um... So, you know, like, that's that's something there, huh? Holy cow. 307. Yeah, so that that's going to be a good, that's gonna be a long journey. Um, not that much to Amarillo, though. What? I'm confused. 307 there. But if I, like, I want to go here, it's 278. What? Whatever. Interesting. So, Dale Hart's going to be a little interesting one there. Um, but we'll, we'll deal with that. So... We're going to get that load next time. We're going to be checking the access out. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. So I hope to catch you all next time with some more Trucking with iVision. Uh -huh.